Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. In moments like these, I sing out a song. I sing out a love song to Jesus. In moments like these, I sing out a song. I sing out a love song to you. Singing, I love. You, Lord, singing, I love you, Lord, singing, I love you, Lord, I love you. In moments like these, I sing out a song. I sing out a love song to Jesus. In moments like these, I sing out a song. I sing out a love song to you singing i love you lord singing i love you lord singing i love you Thank you for this time, O oh Lord. Thank you for this time that we can encounter you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you actually came here for us. You actually came here in the flesh as a man just for us. Just for us so we can have a good life. Because you loved us so much, oh Lord, you actually came here in the flesh. You left heaven just to be here, just to be here with us, to show us that we can live this life because you gave us everything that we need. You gave us everything that we need to be able to endure this life. To be able to enjoy this life. You didn't want to be in heaven without us. You wanted us to partake of the good things in life. Here as well as going to heaven. Thank you so much for choosing us. Because your word says that we didn't choose you. But you chose us. You chose us. You wanted us to have the good life. Us to accept you into our heart. And we can bear fruit. We can bear fruit. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you so much for what you've done in our life already. And there's so much more to come. It's so much more to come. We can't live this life without you, Lord. We don't want to live this life without you. 
Hallelujah. There's so many people that we pray for. Our family members, our friends. People that haven't accepted you as their Lord and Savior. And we want so badly for them to accept you. Our children that we have brought up in the word, taking them to church. And they've turned their back on you. We lift them up before you, Lord. And we know, God, that you have a hook in their jaw, Lord. Drawing them to you because you're the fisher of men. You're the fisher of men. You have a hook in their jaw and you're pulling them closer to you. You're pulling them closer to you. We believe that your hand is upon them, O oh Lord. We're not going to doubt for one second that you are not luring them to you. You're drawing them by your spirit. Those things that they have been taught, they're remembering. They're remembering those things, O oh God. Even though we might not have been saved. Oh, while we had them, oh Lord. We might have lived a, a hellish life before them, oh God. But they see. They see the real us now. So we thank you, Lord, for drawing them to you. For drawing them to you, oh Lord. Send laborers, oh God. Send that perfect laborer to them, oh Lord. Send that perfect laborer to them to draw them some more, oh Lord. To continually draw them, oh Lord Jesus. May they say something, oh God. May they say something that would draw them to you, Lord. Even as they sleep, oh Lord, may they have heavenly dreams, oh God. Continuously draw them even in their sleeping time, oh Lord. Send mentors, oh, send mentors to them, oh God, where they won't hear us, oh Lord. Where they won't hear us, oh God, where they turn a deaf ear towards us, Lord. Send mentors, oh God, to minister to them, Lord Jesus. Send mentors, oh Lord, that they will hear, that they will hear from them. They might not even tell us. They might not even tell us, oh God, that they have friends, oh Father, that are Christian. Friends that so on fire for you, oh Lord. Friends that they will listen to, God. They might not even tell us, but it's okay. Because we believe and we trust you with our family, with our friends, oh God. We trust you, Lord. Because you said that you would do it. You said you haven't forgotten our seed. You haven't forgotten the ones that we've been praying for, God. Because we love them. And we don't want to see them go to hell. Oh, God, may the mentors not get weary and well doing. May those mentors not get weary and well doing, oh, God. May they see that they are making a difference in their lives. That they are making a difference in their life. Even in the mistakes that they make before them, oh God. The mentors, oh Father. Even the mistakes, oh God, they may, that they may have made. May they be quick to say that they repent. And that they get back on the right track, oh God. So that they can see that Christians do make mistakes and it's okay. It's okay because you forgive us. Father, you haven't forgotten the ones that we're praying for. You haven't forgotten them. We thank you, Lord, that you do have a hook in your jaw. And you're bringing them closer and closer to you. They're not escaping you. They can't escape you. Because our prayers... The prayers of the righteous avail of much. Thank you for hearing our prayers, oh God. Thank you for hearing our prayers. And you have them in your hand. 
You're not going to let anything happen to them. You have them. You're keeping them safe. You're keeping them safe. Disease and sickness, it won't take them out. Because you're keeping them safe, oh God. You're going to make sure that they go to heaven. Our prayers are not in vain. Our prayers are not in vain. They're not in vain. We know our prayers are not in vain. Thank you, Jesus, for answering our prayers concerning the ones we love. Thank you for answering our prayers concerning the ones we love. Thank you, Jesus. We know how great you've been in our life. And we know you'll be great in their life. And we know that you have done certain things in their life already. Because we can see it. your faithfulness, oh God. Your faithfulness, oh Lord. Towards the ones that we are praying for. Thank you, Jesus. You are a prayer answering God. You are a prayer answering God. We're not giving up on them. Because we know you're not giving up on them. We're not going to give up on them. We're going to continuously pray. We're going to continuously pray. Do not give up on the ones you're praying for. Don't give up on them. You know, when I come on this camera, I spend time with God even before I come on this camera. God hasn't forgotten your prayers. He hasn't forgotten your children. He hasn't forgotten your parents that you pray for. God hasn't forgotten your friends, your family members. He hasn't forgotten them. He heard your prayers. When I come on this camera, I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to say. I just always ask him to guide me, to lead me, to put the words in me. And all I do is repeat what I hear. So if you're concerned about someone, he's concerned about them too. And he loves them much more than you do. Much more. So take them off of your shoulders. You can even do like this. Take them off of your shoulders and just hand it to him. Hand it to him. Hand it to him. You can't carry nobody on your shoulders. You can't. You can't carry anyone on your shoulders. We wasn't made to do that. God is the only one that can do that. Put them on him. You can't worry yourself sick about anybody. Okay, they're drinking, they're getting high, they're out doing things that they shouldn't do. God, there's a shield on them, a shield of grace is on them because you're praying. There's a shield around them. God is protecting them. They can only get so far. You have to trust God with the ones you love. You got to trust him. Who else do you have? You don't have nobody else to trust. You have to trust God, your Heavenly Father. He brought you. He brought you to Him. He wooed you right on to Him. He can do the same thing. He's doing the same thing with the ones that you love, the ones that you pray for. He's doing the same thing. The same thing. He brought you to him. He's bringing them to him. It's not too late for them, regardless of what you're seeing. Regardless of what you see. And you stop saying what you see. You stop calling them the wrong things. Stop calling them the wrong things. Don't do that. That's what the enemy wants you to do. You don't fall in the enemy's traps with the words coming out of your mouth. Even with the expressions on your face when you see them. 
Don't do that. You're playing right in the enemy's hands. You're giving him license to do what he's doing. Take your hands off of them and let God handle them. Let God handle them. He can't handle them if you are in the way. He can't do it. He can't handle them. He can't do what he needs to do if you keep intercepting. Let him do what he needs to do concerning the people that you love. Give it over to him. You can't carry it. You wasn't made to carry it. All you have to do is remember that God hears your prayers because you are righteous. Okay, you make mistakes. Everybody does. He hears your prayers because you've asked Jesus to come into your heart. So he hears your prayers. You are righteous. You prayed. Don't say what you see. Do not say what you see. You keep saying what you see. You're going to keep getting what you say. Do not say what you see. You say the opposite. If God told you that that, that person is going to be an evangelist, that's what you say. If God has told you that that person is going to be out there preaching his word, that's what you say. Do not say what you see. You need to see that person like God sees that person. The finished product. The finished product. That's how God sees that person. And if you can't see that, you need to pray and ask God to help you see that. Ask God to help you see what that person is going to be. Ask him to help. He will help. He will help you. And you will see. You will start seeing. Because you need to see it. If you don't see it, you're going to have an expression on your face when you see that person. And the enemy is going to keep on tormenting you with how that person looks. How the alcohol and the drugs and, and them going out sleeping with everybody and partying and, and leaving their children and um, stealing and uh, running around with the wrong crowd, gang members, whatever they're doing. That's all you're going to see. That's all you're going to see. If they get locked up, good. There are people out there that go and they minister there are people inside that's ministry. There are people on the outside that's praying for people on the inside. They have different things in their um, books, um, different teachings uh, that's that's already there that churches have donated. That they can watch. They have different things there. That can minister to them. But if you keep getting them out of jail. Every time they get in there. And you keep getting them out. We have to be led. By God. When it comes to our families. When it comes to the people that we love. We have to be led by God. We have to. Because if we don't, we're in God's way. And the Holy Spirit cannot move like that. So ask God to help you see the finished product. Because you want to see. Because you want to see that person. The way that God sees that person. And you seeing the opposite is not helping you. And it's not helping that person. So 
So if you love the person like you say you do, take your hands off. Take your hands off. And let God do what he needs to do. And I know this is not the first time you've heard this. It can't be. It's not the first time that you've heard this. God has been telling you this all along. And you need to listen. You need to listen because you're making it harder for the ones that you love. You're making it harder. Take your hands off. Take your hands off. God loves them so much. If you could only understand how much God loves them, you would take your hands off. Please just take your hands off of them and let God do what he needs to do in their life. You're interfering. Stop. Stop interfering. Stop interfering. God loves them so much. He really loves them so much. Even in their mess. Even in their mess. He loves them so much. The word says that God so loved the world. He so loved the world. He knew what we were going to do. He knew it. But he so loved the world. He so loved the world that he sent Jesus, his only son. You just got to say what God says. And you have to see what he sees. Let them operate. Let them do surgery on that person's heart and that person's life. Let him send the, send the right laborers. Let that mentor be able to do what they need to do. And you will see that person's life really start to change. You know, a lot of times the person don't want you to know that anyone is even ministering to them. And you're thinking that God isn't doing anything, but he really is. He really is. Every time that person turn around, someone is talking to them about God. Somebody is saying, have a blessed day. Somebody is saying something. Even signs that's, that's around the, around the um, neighborhood or town or whatever, when people have signs on their car in their yard or something, those sounds, signs are speaking so loudly to them, you have no idea. You have no idea. Churches billboards, what they put up on their billboard and everything, and those things are like they're shouting to them how much God loves them. You have no idea. You have no idea. God is speaking very loudly to to them. He's speaking very loudly to them. And he's doing it constantly. They're going to turn around. But you just have to have the faith. And stay out of the way. Stay out of the way. God is doing it. He is doing it. And you're going to look back at this time. And you are going to rejoice. You're going to rejoice. You have to listen to some of the people's testimonies that they had. 
listen to some of their testimony about how they were just doing all this crazy stuff and how God just turned them around and the things that they were doing just they just stopped. They stopped doing it. God can do the same thing for the ones that you love. He can do the same thing for the ones that you love. You know, sometimes we we get upset because we see a person on their deathbed and we are like, you know, I don't want them to go to hell. Well, God doesn't want them to go to hell either. You know, we don't know what's going on, you know, as they're in that, that state where they're, they're like their last moments. We don't know what's going on. We don't know. We don't know if a nurse has came in there and and um said to send his prayer to them. I've heard that story many times. Many times. We do not know what's taking place. We don't know. Even us praying to send the spirit with them. We don't know if they have accepted them or not. Accepted the Lord. We have to just trust God. We have to trust God. Because even on their deathbed, it's never too late. They could still accept God as their Lord and Savior. Accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. We, we just, we can't try to figure God out. We can never figure him out. That's the right word. We can never figure him out. And we're never going to be able to figure him out. Even people that have been on their deathbed has even risen before. We can't figure God out. We can't. We just have to trust him. It's coming to the end of the 30 minutes. And oh my goodness, I really pray that this have made you think that so you can stop worrying. I always do the sinner's prayer at the end. and um, So if you've never asked Jesus to come into your heart, now is the time. Just repeat after me and mean it when you say it. Jesus, come into my heart. I know I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. Cleanse me from all of my sins. Forgive me. I repent. I know that you came, you died, and you was resurrected just for me. Thank you for loving me so much. Thank you for enduring the cross, the cross just for me because of your love for me. Now I can live in heaven forever, eternally with you and the Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. So now that you pray that prayer, you are a Christian. Yay! You are a Christian. And I'm so proud of you. This is the best decision that you ever made and that you may ever make in your life. Um, You're going to enjoy your walk with the Lord. You will. You're going to enjoy it. You belong to him and he belongs to you. Take time to talk with him, to communicate with him, to let him love on you. Tell someone that you are a Christian now. And also pray the sinner's prayer with someone so they can be saved. That their life will be changed. I do thank you for watching and I pray for you and your family every waking hour every waking hour that i'm up i'm praying for you and your family again thank you for watching and have a blessed day make it a good one bye and i will see you tomorrow